Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today you join me, we are currently at Warren Greytrex Racing Yard and today we are having a look around the yard, seeing the training, basically the insight into a racehorse's life. Now you may remember that last year it was actually the first ever year that National Racehorse Week ran and it is back to run again this year it's currently on right now it is started on the 11th of september and it's going through to the 18th now this is a chance for you at home and everybody else around the uk to be able to go to one of these beautiful venues and have a look for yourself in person at what a racehorse's life looks like now be expected they are honestly treated like kings and queens like royalty and yeah, we're gonna get a little glimpse of that. We're actually hijacking a little bit today because Horse and Country have come here as well this morning to film a four part series about racehorses. They're doing jump training, which we have just been up and they've just had Yogi Breisner teaching about a horse jumping left, which was really interesting. So I will insert a little bit of that in a second. I have also been on something very, very exciting, which we will come on later in the vlog. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's been quite an early start because racing yards wake up very early and everything is yeah done in the morning so that is why we're here it's i feel like it should be about lunchtime but i think it's actually only about nine o'clock and an awful lot has already happened this morning but yeah we are raising awareness so make sure that you find a venue near you you can go to nationalracehorseweek.co.uk i'll pop that on screen you enter in your postcode and find the venue that is closest to you now there are lots of different types of venues that are opening their doors across this week so you have got some training yards you've got studs aftercare centers as well so yeah pop your postcode in find the venue that is closest to you and it is completely free they are opening the, their yards welcoming you in for completely free but you do need to make sure that you get booked so like i say head to the website pop in your postcode find where the closest venue is to you and get yourself booked on but we will let this day continue so we have just finished so obviously horse and country are doing like episode one two three and four and the first one was jumping the racehorse now they're just doing a little bit of a q and a but what i'll do now is i'll just pop in a few little clips of that session obviously there isn't going to be a huge amount because you need to make sure that you have got your membership to h and c plus and to go on there and to watch them i will pop in a few little little teaser clips for you now um, before getting on with the next part of the day Jumping out to the side quite a bit, and the rider has to bring them back in again. And I bet you, 
did you measure the distance that the wolf might have run 100 meters further in the race? Soft, soft, good. Now you can walk. Whoa! So even the second last time, when the horse came down to see it here, now I'm sure you can see that the second last time you came down here, the horse allowed you to relax the hand here. And he stayed quite tight and level. I actually said you could stop on that one, but then he went down to that one, and he wasn't bad at all there, but a little bit keen. But then again, you can run the horse right here uh, the last time. He, to me, did just what I wanted him to do. He, that he relaxed here, measured his fence, and he measured it to a slight saddle, and then he took off. We're now on to jumping at the X race horse. So these guys have been out of racing for a little bit. <laughs> and uh, they're just getting, Yogi's getting them just to go over a pole to begin with. Which is obviously a bit scary. Oh, this is <laughs> See, T, it's not just you that has to be led around sometimes when it's already seen a pole. <laughs> Spooking at Villa's, so it's like a con after spook one. <laughs> This is behind the scenes, so they're just doing a little interview. Feast to camera. Feast to camera. And Rosie's like, it's going to be four minutes. Is that okay? It's probably going to be longer. Because <laughs> she's good at talking. Yes, we have met Rosie, so you might recognise Rosie. She was on Birdie TV. Um, and then is here and hosting today's. Basically job. living her life, best life and doing her dream job, as yeah. she said. Yeah, she said like, she's meeting all yeah. her idols. Yeah, worked alongside Claire Boulding at Yeah. Oh, Burley. And off to Blenheim this weekend. Yeah. So we're watching how she does it. Yeah, you're she reminds me of Nicole because she's so just, yeah. it just all the I've info just, just slips off the tongue just like that. I know. And that's one thing we're not very good at, is it? We have to say it about three or four times. times. Yeah, and then we're like, ah, got it. <laughs> Just makes perfect. Yes, it does. But you're just getting some tips ready for your week. I'm yeah. gonna, I, got, I was going to say presenting. It's not okay. quite presenting, is it? Yeah, I know. I've heard what your lines are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been rehearsing. Yeah, for the All Stars at Talent next week. Yeah. Oh, oh and then and we've got Kira behind us. Talking of the All Stars at Talent, Stephen was my photographer back in oh, 2017 at Talent. Back in 2017. Oh. And then uh, yeah, Kira's here, and we're going to get some stuff Thank for you. Swipe Up Kick On Episode that's Two right. that's coming out yeah. this week. So much oh, going on. <laughs> so much for you guys to watch. We just had a little spot of lunch. Thank you, Sophie, going out and getting it. <laughs> Sausage roll was uh, very, very nice. Now they're doing a Q&A with Yogi, which I think is going to be really, really insightful. So I'll try and get a few questions, obviously, for on the vlog. I'm off. What? Suko promo. Suko. Oh, sorry. Forgot. <laughs> If you look after the animal well, then he's going to perform better for you. And that if you're competitive, it's in your own interest to look after that animal in the best possible way. I think sometimes where we go wrong is that we see the horse from our own eyes and therefore say, well, that looks wrong. But for the horse, it might not necessarily be wrong because we need to learn, like horsemen do, to see it from the horse's 
point of view. Just had a quick little change that was so insightful listening to and everybody's questions and how passionate he, he is was, about yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. And his own horse. And his own horse. I, I never realised that. Yeah, never realised that. And I actually never realised that Tina Cook. No, uh, retrained. So yeah, exactly. And retrained them. Become Aventus. Become Aventus into our sport. But we are now heading down. <laughs> Quick change at the top because it has come out sunny oh, and yeah. it is very, very warm. And we are heading down to the yard. So we've already seen that facility there, which is basically like a water treadmill um, as they come back off of the gallops. And now we're heading down into the main yard and we haven't been down here. We've had a little glimpse that looks lovely. It's almost giving us no Nodwood, Nodwood vibes, vibes. Yeah, yeah because the they've up. got, as you see, the horses can decide up to them whether they like to be in or whether they like to be out. So at the moment, it looks like all ponies want to be out, bless them. But we are now going to be fully shown around. Yeah, exciting. To be honest, they spend 99% of their time outside in all kinds of weather. I mean, they've got lovely big New Zealands in the winter. Um, they love a roll. I mean, basically, we just put sand in there. There's porous um, tarmac underneath, so everything drains away. Brilliant. You never get waterlogged. Um, we put the sand in. We mixed a bit of fibre in there, so it sort of moved with them. Um, and to be honest, they love love yeah, so rolling and spending time sociable outside. as well because yeah. they can they can groom. Yeah. Do you choose who, which neighbour each has? So they get um, all it's <laughs> sort of it's sort of hit and miss. If you get to which want to fight and play yeah. all the time, we we have swap them around. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're sandy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I did. You come out to see everybody because you went out and you go. What's his name, T? Hi. This is. Dowin? 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 2014 B Gelding. Again, like we've always seen at all the race yards, they have got very well ventilated windows, stables. Oh, you've got you've got it both sides. You're not gorgeous, aren't you? Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. You've got double window, well, triple windows. Wash bay over there. So we do try oh, wow. them eating regularly. once a week and, and before and after right every run. So You're... this this is where we've done a lot of the changes down here. So the swimming pool was already here, but we have added a uh, water treadmill and spa. You can smell it's like going to Nirvana Spa. Yeah. <laughs> you can smell this as well. Yeah. Can you? Yes. Oh, yes, amazing. Yes, so this is a, an expensive bit of kit. I think it was 140 grand. But it's um, Epsom salts, cold water, about 3-4 degrees. You can have it various depths. You can change the stiffness of the treadmill. Or you can just have it as a spa. And they can just, if you've got a horse who's come back, bang its leg or whatever, you can just stand it in there or you can use it as an exercise. They think, they reckon you can keep a horse fit in here for 30 days without losing any fitness. Wow. So it's really good for any issues you get along the way or yeah. you need to take a rider off of it or whatever. Yeah. You can keep them in there and keep them going. Just, it's a bit wet, but if you want to go in there, you can, you can see. <laughs> so this is um, a new addition as well. It's um, a vibrating floor. The whole stable is, is vibrating. So we just put them in here for about 20 minutes in the morning. Uh, we try and do various horses. Um, He doesn't necessarily enjoy being ridden, he's a bit uh, of a napper. 
and also he has had a couple of tendon injuries. So we train him completely from the ball and ride him once a week. Um, he is the extreme of what we do. He would swim 25 laps each way. We always go both ways. 25 laps each way, uh, morning and evening. So he would do 100 laps a day in the swimming pool. And season before last, he actually won a 60 grand race at Carlisle. It was a final big race, heavy ground, and he won it from that swimming pool. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. So, he's, he's the best at camping. Yeah, oh, we've been in one of those. So, They're amazing. There's a little machine around the back. You use Epsom salt. You put it in. It, it purifies it, grinds it down, and then produces like a little mist in here. So they're shut in. Stay in for about lungs. 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. They're different to like a nebulizer because this gets into like both chambers of the lungs. So it gets a bit deeper in. Uh, so any of who've had any sort of breathing problems or uh, they've had some sort of viral issue, uh, coughing. Bring them in here five days for us and it helps clean things through. And quite a few flat trainers work in Newmarket, Michael Stout, and so forth. I think Alan King's got one. So they had double glazed fixed windows in here before, and you couldn't uh, open them, so uh, it was almost okay. pointless. Yeah. Um, I don't even know why they would have done that, but they did. And in here, they had like a false ceiling. So, oh, yeah. so it's basically enclosed. holding everything in. Yeah, it was enclosed. Yeah. And when you used to come into them in the winter, of course the horse comes back a bit warm, he might be yeah. a bit sweaty. Felt really stuffy and mm -hmm. clammy in here. So that was the first thing we'd done. It was, it was a big job to be fair. It was rip out the ceiling. We had to panel the roof because if you've got beam, too many beams, you can get you know, the virus. Dust yeah, stuff yeah, coming down. Did you fall the, those as well? They were already in. Over. Yeah. Um, and we changed the windows. Mm -hmm. We nearly never changed the windows because at yeah. cost, it was all getting expensive. Yeah. But then we thought, well, if we didn't do that and we only done half the job, yeah. let's do it all. You are gorgeous. You got a beautiful face. I think I'm saying that to every single one. Beautiful nose. Hi. Oh, so pretty. Wow, wow, wow. How amazing are the facilities. It, like I said, it really gave me Nodwood vibes with like the salt room and yeah oh my goodness absolutely amazing but we are now gonna in this vlog we are going to jump back in time to this morning when I was very very fortunate to be allowed to not only sit on a racehorse but to go out on the first lot at the Kublers racing yard which is literally we rode past this entrance just up here um, and up towards the gallops and oh my goodness it was absolutely amazing but yeah we'll jump back into time I didn't want to start my vlog this morning because I'll be honest I was feeling quite nervous it was very very early this morning so I thought I would yeah leave it till now I need to go in and help with the jumps although I'm looking at the jumps and thinking that they're almost done so I'm gonna leave you go back to earlier this morning and I'll come back and we'll finish the vlog how you feeling Oh, she's excited now. Now it's the morning. That wasn't what you were saying last night. Very peaceful. Very beautiful yard. Hello. Oh, yeah. So first off, I've got a look on the board. I've just found out. So you can either be doing a short or a long. And uh, we're doing a long this morning. A mile. That's what we're doing. Fine, absolutely fine. We're in the tap room. We're in the tap room. The board is what is the plan for today. Who's on? Does that mean you guys are out at seven o'clock? Is it? Is that the top? Yeah, yeah. seven o'clock long. <laughs> and I'm guessing I'm on presently. That was a good thing. You said that last night, didn't you? Ah, oh, that's why there's no name against it. <laughs> no it's you. I'm the no name. Ah, <laughs> oh. um, there's only four of us out. Really? Oh, yeah. Zip yourself in. I'm gonna zip myself in. I'm going to sign a disclaimer in a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'll take her out and show where she is. Okay. Then... A proper way to carry it, a saddle. I think you'd know that after all years of riding. It's a beautiful yard. Oh, it's not. She's off. Meet your girl. Girl? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. Nice ride. Just give it five minutes. <laughs> I wouldn't bother. 
La fin. Sorry, you're for me. Yeah, literally. <laughs> What's the date today? The 12th? 12th, yeah. She'll be wanting to come back and work for you. Yeah. Right, okay, so we've had a little look around. We've got a little minute to be able to film because I just don't want to be... It does feel anybody's... like you need to be quiet, doesn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, it's so do. peaceful. It is very peaceful here. As you can see, all ponies are looking very happy. We are like at a state of an art yard. It's beautiful. We've got two walkers going at the moment and we are at the Kubler Racing Yard. So that is Daniel and Claire... Kubler. They both hold a license and run it together, which I think is really lovely. But oh, yeah, they're all on rubber matting. And, oh, it's amazing. I said it's yeah. like red carpet for horses. They get to go to the walker and their stables all on rubber matting. It's the way around. Yeah, presently is currently on the walker because they go on that before they go out and do their trainings. And uh, yeah. And you've been told you've got to get into a position like a martini glass. Martini glass, yes. Don't Can you show me what you think a martini glass looks like in body form? <laughs> I can't bend over that. Oh, my hamstrings aren't going to let me. <laughs> All right, you better do some stretches before you get on then. You need to be on the walker. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's for a mile. <laughs> There's a part of me that's really excited and a part of me that's absolutely terrified. I've just signed my waiver. So, yeah, racehorses are dangerous animals. I know that. Thoroughbreds are. <laughs> It's all good though, it's all good. They're all gonna look after me. Um, Alex has said that he's gonna stay behind me and then another chap will be in front Set of the pace. setting the pace. And if I'm struggling, they go faster. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Yeah, and it's... Tina's able to come up. She's gonna be driven up to with Dan, yeah. Daniel. Um, to film. To film oh. so. And they are taking part in National Racehorse Week. Oh yes. But in a different way. They, some of the yards that are open to the public. Yeah, they are allowing the local primary school to come here and have a look around. Imagine that, like your school trip and then yeah. you get to come here. And he said they did it last year and then one of the mums ended up working for them. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I always love that they've got such good breathability in their stables. Like They generally always have a window and the door, yeah. don't they? You're I gorgeous. That's at racing yards, isn't it, that they are all about ventilation. ventilation. Yeah. yeah. No, don't say, don't embarrass Lucy on the vlog, Emma. Oh. <laughs> I, can. I mean, I can put bridle on. Are you sure? <laughs> it is funny when you're taken out of your comfort zone how you forget to do the things that you know right. how to do. So that's good for the back. Oh, uh, okay. Is it just like a throat latch that looks a bit different or something? Yeah, oh, no, yeah. It's a rubber nose band. Ah. Not a throat latch. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. This one's quite big, so. Double twist it. Take this on. No. Oh, she's beautiful. She's quite tall, Em. Oh, she's beautiful. Long way up. Long way down. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Depends right, which. You two. Glass. Like, I'm feeling right now. Glass half empty or half full. <laughs> you know, I thought that when I first saw her, and I thought, no, it's it. <laughs> she's got long legs. There you go. Oh. Beautiful. Can I take her to a stable? Yeah, take her and tie her up at the back there. Do you need a step? Shut up. <laughs> it's go time. Oh, what have you just pressed on the camera? Oh. Have you ever been legged up before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, don't you? Well, if you like want, you can bounce, you can work, you just say what you want to do. One, two, three. He's off. Have fun! <laughs> Yeah. Up, really tired. tired, yeah. Yeah, tired, yeah. Do you like start slow and then build up or? You'll be fine once you set after you know what you're doing. Okay. Around a couple of 
couple of small bends and then it's straight again. Ah, okay. Good girl. Good girl. Elastic at the elbows. Hopefully the GoPro is in the right place. Good girl. All right, good. Nice and straight. Stop at the end. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's four furlong. One more. Good girl. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Good girl. Burning now. She's smiling. <laughs> All right. I survived. <laughs> Although I'm not quite back yet, so I feel a bit. I don't want to tempt fate. That's so cool. That's so good. All right. Yeah, very good. Ah, she looks All lovely. Right. Definitely sounded like you were enjoying it when you went past us. Yeah. <laughs> right. A bit higher up than we used. We made a friend for life. Yeah, I can definitely feel my legs are burning by the end. <laughs> but I remember to breathe. I was breathing. I was talking to you the whole time on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh. You look fab. I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah. I don't think I'd enjoy it if it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I did enjoy it. Good yeah. She's so sweet, isn't she? Yeah, she is really sweet. Yeah. I am more of a um, mare that you are, size, so I'm yeah. quite bad. Lester. She's quite big though, isn't she? Yeah. She's very big. Bad. In comparison to the others you went out with, I thought she looked taller, yeah. Really? Wow! <laughs> Just ridden a racehorse up a mile long, eight furlongs, and absolutely loved every second of it. It was when we were first walking out, you walk her down and around the road, and I was like, I actually felt my breathing was probably worse then because I was suddenly like a bit anxious and a bit like, ooh, what is this going to be are, like? Though? <laughs> it was so messy, I was like, I'm scared I've missed you. got some epic content. And I was expecting you to be third, but you were second. I was like, oh, there she is. Yes! You want to see all this? Oh, that is cool. <laughs> I don't actually look that bad. You look incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, loved it. Absolutely loved it. So, huge thank you to Dan and Claire for allowing me onto this lovely yard, allowing it's us onto this yard, lovely yard. And driving me around. So I yeah, could driving you so around. Yeah. But then also, as we remember from Epson, the owners do like to go up and. Yeah. It's part of the training, isn't it? They go and listen to the. Way well, the see how many cars are going down. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. They because go and um, obviously watch it move, but like they said, you can't actually see that much in the mist. You only see them for that split, split second. second. Yeah, and um, also they, they listen, to, listen their breathing, to their breathing and everything yeah. as well, don't they? And then get the feedback straight away from the riders whilst it's fresh in their head. Yes. At the end yeah. of the race, uh, race train. There's seven gallops around, isn't yeah. there? And that was quite oh, funny gosh, because. You told the... me how many acres it was over. It's a big, big space, but yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> The thing was, was that, again. yeah, they're off ready for their lot two, but the one that was in front of me that Mark had, Percy, Percy cool. <laughs> it was if I got up and so that gallop has been used as training that if I went up alongside Percy, Percy would mean that, that goes faster. So he was really worried about me being out of control. <laughs> <laughs> If I went again on that same horse, I'd probably be a little bit more fun with it and maybe want to tease him. <laughs> and uh, you can see they're just all off again. For the second lot of the morning. Ah, that's interesting. So, as I was mentioning about them going different gallops for different training, they are obviously off to a different gallop because they're not going the same way that they we get went. To the short now. Yes. <laughs> to the short one, which is only five furlongs, and that's where you I had it. It's the longer one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's why when I saw number four, I thought I've only got one more because I was originally thinking I was doing five, sure, and that's yeah. why I had it in my head. But no did eight furlongs it's very good and we are now walking over to the warren's yard so <laughs> that's all in like that, close proximity yeah, i know so many around well we are in the valley of the racehorse <laughs> so yeah i'm now going lovely chestnut one behind you this has been a very very fun morning <laughs> and catch back up with us at warren's yard jumps and banners all put away and that is this this day unfortunately come to an end it's been absolutely epic i thoroughly enjoyed you make sure that you get onto national racehorse week website pop in your postcode and find out where the closest venue is to you obviously i can't promise that yogi's going to be there for you but unfortunately. unfortunately different venues will be showing different displays and different kind of yard tours they'll all have different facilities some that you may have seen obviously on this vlog but like i say head to national racehorse week .co.uk and type in your postcode and find out where the closest venue is to you but I hope you have enjoyed this vlog as always please do like comment and subscribe hope you've enjoyed watching me going out on the gallops ah! crazy isn't she? oh it was amazing <laughs> absolutely it, it does, did look fun you it actually looked quite little... relaxed up there I'll be honest, I was. Mm. Once it was a bit weird when you like first go round, you probably heard this on the GoPro. The last one says that like they're through the gap, and then oh. it's like, yep, and we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Um, they do know, yeah, completely they know. But it, yeah, I love presently. She looked after me so well. She was so sweet. I'd quite like to put her in the trailer next to Bexie well, and take her home. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she is, yeah, she was lush. So huge thank you to Sophie for organising all of that, and of course to the Kublers for allowing me, Dan and Claire and of course Alex and Mark for looking after me on the actual gallops yeah, um, yeah. Um, yeah. proud of oh, myself pushing myself out of my comfort very zone good. actually there's something else that you could be challenged with but watch this space yeah yeah Maybe. I need to work out how the logistics work but yeah <laughs> anyways hope you've enjoyed it see you all soon bye, bye.